Even with this list of obsessions and compulsions, Tesla had always been able to tap into his remarkable inventive intellect. In 1898, he gave birth to remote control when he demonstrated a six foot long radio wave controlled boat at Madison Square Garden. On a quiet lake in Riverside, California, Tesla's work is alive and well as a fleet of remote-controlled model boats set sail. This is very much like Tesla did a hundred years ago. Inside these boats are the basic components of remote control Tesla conceived at the turn of the 20th century. A battery inside the remote control device sends power to an oscillator that converts it into a radio wave pulse. The radio wave is transmitted to a small receiver on the boat, which sends the electric pulse to a motor. Varying the pulse of the radio wave from the transmitter to the receiver causes the motor's arms to move in different directions. Using a joystick, the operator controls the radio pulse signal and controls the boat. Tesla's remote control principles are seen today in everything from televisions to unmanned military predator drones used for battlefield reconnaissance to satellites operating in space. Although many of Tesla's inventions would prove to be a benefit to society, his visionary thoughts also traveled down a darker road to more frightening and destructive destinations. His idea was to blast concentrated beams of particles charged with millions of volts of electricity through the air, which could down fleets of enemy aircraft at a distance of 250 miles. Tesla terrified people with this idea of the death ray. I mean, even the name death ray, it sounds like it's science fiction, right? Tesla spent his later 